chit chat with cutie that's what they said yep chit chat with qt was killing chit chat with qt for all of this tea hey guys welcome to chit chat with qt let me give my disclaimer the views that i express are my own personal opinions for entertainment purposes only and everything is alleged please make sure to like the video hit that notification bell and subscribe So let's get into this video, guys. This past weekend has been an overload of nothing arse Negroes and their side chicks. And I was just drained from even talking about them. Every other day, it's a story of these no good ass men and these broads, these bold, dumb ass biatches are just loud and proud to be done. It's crazy. And I plan to discuss this a little more later on in my live. I hope you guys join me. But let me go ahead and get into a little of it now. Jonathan Majors, he did that shit, period. And I know that his attorneys are trying to clean it up because he's in the number one movie right now. But his dumb ass did it in my opinion, and why did he do it? Because his girlfriend wanted to see his phone. Now this Negro has put his whole career in jeopardy because he was most likely cheating. And who does that remind y'all of? Martel with his dumb ass. He's lost everything, businesses and everything over cheating. But back to Jonathan. You know what I'm sick of? I'm sick of folks saying that a black woman wouldn't have called the popo. Why? Why don't black women let these men stand in their shit? Because it's time and black women need to stop coddling these nothing ass men. You know, that's a lot to say. Or oh, a black woman wouldn't have done that. Oh, she's just expected to suffer in silence, whether that's by mental abuse, verbal abuse, physical abuse. Oh yeah, let me just, in order to save him, let me not say anything. It's time for us to stop that, ladies. Because guess what? They damn sure wouldn't do it for us. They'll move right on to the next victim. And that's the problem with the majority of these men. Some woman, either is from the mama on down, has basically tried to sweep shit under the rug their whole damn lives. And it's time for that shit to stop, period. But Jonathan did that shit. I believe it. That's my opinion. And now they got their Olivia Pope team trying to clean this shit up. They gave the girlfriend a little hush money. And now all of a sudden she recanted her story. Yeah. Okay. We know what's up. And let's get on into Rocky's old ugly ass. Cause that's what he is. His ass did it too. We know it. I got so sick of him in that phone call with Tasha K trying to damn near hypnotize Tasha K, if you ask me, by continuously telling her, oh, just listen, listen to me, listen. That's the same shit he tell his wife, just listen. Nigga, shut up. You did it, and you do what the majority of these nothing-ass men do. You pillow talk with the sad chick, made her feel like she was special, just because you were screwing her and then you trying to wiggle your way up out the shit. You ain't fooling nobody. And speaking of his side chick, Tia Wanda or whatever her real name is, why do all of these side chicks think by saying what they do or have done in the bedroom is special? I got a whole video 
about Ariane Curry calling her a tongue recipient because that's her go-to line. His tongue was in my a-hole. He was eating my behind. And, and here this chick go with the same damn thing. Number one, when they say that, that is to scare off any other woman. I said that when Ariane said it about 10 damn times this past summer, that was to scare Sheree off. Yeah, he may be with you. He may be walking outside in public with you. But when he's over here with me, his tongue is in my a-hole. Well, where's your head? Because if your butt is bent over and his tongue is in your a-hole, where's your mouth? Yeah, slobbing the knob. All of their ass is nasty. And when they scream about what he did with their a-hole, do they think that's not being done with the wife? and whoever else they're cheating with. But this chick, Tia Wanda, just out here proud and loud, being a damn fool. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. We all have talked about and we all know that there has been side chicks and mistresses from as long as man was created. But these side chicks today, they wanna be known for it. Like what? Hear this one go, from interviews to live videos. And what's the end result? What is the end result? He's still with his wife. So what you talking for? Who cares what y'all did? It wasn't special. He didn't leave. You didn't have enough to make him leave. And guess what? He's not no damn prize. Trying to act like what they had in the five years was so damn special. His wife is the prize, whether she stays with him or not. He's latched on to her. That's why he's in the news and hit his dumb ass chick come. Okay, they on this show now, let me start talking. Girl, bye, go put that mouth to work because that's all you was good for. I'm sick of these dumb ass women and these nothing ass men. But let me move on to Marceau real quick. So during my Members Only Live last week, we discussed the old audio of Coleslaw when she was set up by her friend. And in that audio, all you got from Coleslaw at the time was the truth. If you ask me, she was talking to someone who she thought she could trust and she was talking sincerely. And she said, at least she wasn't as bold as the hairdresser Alanda to get on a live video with Martel and Mel. And she said she just couldn't believe what she saw. And guess what? I believed her. So we know allegedly Alanda is the chick that was screwing Marceau. She then got on a live video with Marceau and Tisha and denied everything. And a lot of us saw right through that shit. And that was bold. But in that moment, again, of Ariane speaking with her friend, she was telling the truth. But Marceau is smarter than Martel. He paid that chick off, in my opinion, and he's probably still paying her to keep quiet. This Negro made sure to get a vasectomy so he wouldn't slip up and get someone pregnant like Martel's dumb ass. But he definitely did it. And last but not least, let's get into Martel's delusional ass. Now, did you guys see the sneak peek of a scene that will be coming up in the new season of Martel talking to the Fletchers? And he said how he's not in anything serious, but he wants to get married this year. Negro, what? So you just gonna bounce from woman to woman to woman and marry somebody this year? And how dumb again is loud ass Ariane Curry? You prove year after year after year how dumb you are. Not once has this man said, I'm going to try to give my baby mama and myself's relationship a chance. Hell, we couldn't stop messing around when I was with my wife, so obviously something was there. Not once 
has this man said that in almost 10 damn years? And here she go, just a smiling and grinning on a live video. But Martell is showing exactly what he's on. Ruining lives. Okay, I ruined what I had with my family, my ex-wife and kids. I've ruined this dumbass chick that I've been stringing along for 10 years. And she got a baby. And guess what? I'm still on the search for somebody else to marry this year. Whoever these potential women are, have you seen... What happened in his marriage? Have you seen the extracurricular activities known as coleslaw? Who would want to marry him? It's the craziest shit ever. But in the end, it is up to women to demand respect or let these nothing ass Negroes go on about their business. That's what it boils down to. We know 98% of these niggas ain't shit, and excuse my French, but we know that. And the numbers may not be that high, but it's close. And the reason why it's that high is because of women. It's time for us to stop taking the bullshit in like it's nothing. But yeah, women, let these niggas go on out there and be great. Let them be great. Let them loose to the streets because that's where they belong. But all of these side chicks, like I said, I'm just stunned. I'm stunned. This new generation is something else, baby, because Miss Mary from back in the day that knew she was screwing around with Diane's husband wasn't jumping on no TV or anything else to scream it out to the world. It's like you want to be known as a hoe. You want to be known as the sad chick. Let these damn men screw with your head thinking that you got some superpowers in between your legs and you don't. But yeah, guys, like I said, let's discuss this a little later. I wasn't even trying to do it this weekend. I'm sorry because every time I looked up, it was a new video on YouTube or a new post on Instagram and I was over it. But drop down in the comments, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think that Jonathan Majors is guilty of what he's been accused of? What are your thoughts on Rocky and his sad shit? What do you think about Marceau? You know, Marceau, when they were talking about the Atlanta boys trip on the reunion, he busted himself out then. You know, he said that he had only been around this chick that one time when he thought they were having a boys trip and she just popped up and we found out that that's a goddamn lie. Marceau was paying for things for Martel, car repairs for this girl and roses and every damn thing else. Roses that she still proudly displays and he was comfortable with her. Why is the question? Because she's dumb enough to keep his secret. Just a fool. But let me know your thoughts about that, guys. And then also drop down. Let me know your thoughts on Mr. Hope saying he's in search of another Mrs. Hope. I hope Mel hurry up and get rid of that goddamn name. I understand her wanting to keep it if that's where she's at today because she does have four children with that last name. But no, I'm not going to be walking around with that last name, period. But drop down, guys. Let's chit-chat about it. Please also make sure to share my video. Hit the like button. Hit that notification bell. And subscribe. Chat with you guys soon. Bye.